Hey, hey, hey guys, welcome to I Am Pinky and I'm Not Ashamed. And yesterday I uh, had a little funny moment because I've been babysitting my granddaughter the last few days and I thought to myself, hmm, would it be a great idea to take her to, uh, for a walk to the shops? And I thought it was such a good idea because my daughter had bought this thing called a smart trike. And my granddaughter is two years old and I thought, yes, it would be so great to take her on a smart trike. How hard could it be? So this is a smart trike. How great does it look? At the end of the day, it's a bike. So you think, yes, the child can help me push and be entertained and help with a bit of steering and got a bit of shade and how great is it? Little pocket for my phone and I had this <laughs> so I could help help steer. So I thought how easy will it be to take my grandchild <laughs> for a walk in this <laughs> rookie mistake. So looking at it you'd have to agree with me how fantastic does it look? How easy would it be to take a child for a walk to the shop? Well, uh, keep watching and see what actually happens. <laughs> Just watch. What are we doing? Are we going for a walk? Yeah. Are you going to steer us to Westlands? Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's see. Grace, Grace, you got to steer it. Where are you going? No, I don't want you to go that way. I want you to go that way. Now you're just going <laughs> to keep us on the footpath. Oh, that's better. <laughs> no. <laughs> On the path. <laughs> All right, keep it straight for me. Keep it straight. <laughs> Grace, I just need you to keep it straight. <laughs> Gracie. Can you just keep it straight for Granny? <laughs> Grace, just keep it on the footpath. Can you just keep it straight. <laughs> okay, I'm really going to do this video. It's like a review of this like little trike. And guess what, they call it the smart trike. Smart? I don't know what's actually smart about it, right? Because, first of all, you think to yourself, oh, that's great. He can help me push. But then, on the way here, we discovered, doesn't matter how much she pushes, they don't work. They're just the decorations. All right, hang on. Yeah, but she wants to get out. Anyway, then, I discovered, of course, how silly of me, that giving a two-year-old the chance to be a driver is not a good idea. And there's no way to turn that off. So for the first 10 minutes of our walk, look, she got to steer. Not good. <laughs> so yeah, anyway, luckily I discovered that if I pressed on it and lifted up the front of it, she no longer had control. That was brilliant because I did not need a two-year-old that had control <laughs> because it was not steering where I wanted it. So I spent the rest of the walk driving like this, holding it up so she couldn't steer <laughs> just to get it. So no, smart trike? I don't think so. So what was even funnier is when I was actually shopping in Westlands after that traumatic experience, a pregnant lady come up to me and she's like, wow, that bike thing looks so great. Where did you get it from? And I was like, oh, I don't know. My daughter bought it. <laughs> I didn't have that to tell her how crap it was. 